Hello guys, this is Becca, and I am wanting to share with you what I've done this month. Not now, this is not my completed pages of the month. This is just one uh, uh, scavenger hunt that I'm in. So I will still be doing my completed pages for the month. Uh, because this is not all the pages I've done. But, uh, I am following someone on Instagram. And her channel name, or her, whatever you want to call it on Instagram, her account is, uh, Happy Colorists. I see, Happy Colors, um, with an underscore mark. I will have her, her link to Instagram in the description. But it's all lowercase, H-A-P-P-Y-C-O-L-O-R-S-S, -S, and then an underscore mark. That is her channel on Instagram. And each month, she puts up 10 coloring prompts for you to do throughout the month. And um, when you complete the page, if you want her to... Um, you can, you know, put the hashtag, and the hashtag for the hunt, scavenger hunt, is hashtag happy scavenger May 2022. Now, she will put up a new prompt for June. Uh, but she puts this, uh, puts it up at the first of each month with 10 props. And when you upload your picture, anytime through the month when you finish one of those, the, you know, one of the pictures that she's got in the prompts, you put the hashtag on it, and you also put at happy colorists, colors, happy colors, I guess you would say it is, with the underscore mark. And if you tag her in it, she posts it on her stories, on her account, and shares your picture. You don't get anything, it's just for fun, and, you know, she shares your pictures, for the uh, scavenger hunt. Excuse me, guys. Let me take a couple of breaths and see if I can get this yawning out of the way. Moments of silence for the Becca JB. <laughs> Every time I get on camera, I start yawning. I said that I was going to do some long exercise before I turned on the video, and I always forget until I start yawning, and I remember, ah, I didn't do my exercise, trying to get some air in my, there I go. I don't know what it is. I've talked all morning with my husband. Maybe it's because I don't talk as much at one time. Like, I'll say something and then stop, and he'll say something, and then I'll answer him. But when I'm on video, I'm, talking constantly. Maybe that's what it is, and I'm not getting enough oxygen. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, anyway, for this month, the prompts were, and I'm going to show you each page as I tell you the prompt. Prompt number one was giraffe. So, I had this, uh, I think this was a color it printable that I have. They they send me free printables once a week or, or you know, one free printable once a week. Uh, and I get it from Colorist and I also get it from um, Coloring Book Cafe. Uh, I get some from them. And then I have purchased some digital coloring books from Coloring Book Cafe. So I should have wrote down which one this was from. I'm not sure. It was either from Coloring Book Cafe or from Color It, and it was either a free printable or it came from one of the digital coloring books that I bought. I'm not sure. So that this is the giraffe one that I did. Then the next prompt was cars. 
So this here is the Whimsical Whimsy Girls Through the Decades by Hannah Lynn. I love Hannah Lynn. I have got to find me some more coloring books by her. I love her pages, her coloring books. Anyway, this was prompt number two. Let's see, I finished prompt number one on the 4th of May. Number two, I did on the 10th of May, and I colored this page with this old-timey car. So that was prompt two. Let's see, I'm going to try to find somewhere to put these aside. Okay. Now, prompt three was ice cream. Now, this one I know was not from either one Color It R Coloring Book Cafe because this is an old printable that I had I had years ago that I had on my computer and I didn't you know indicate where I got it from but it it was I'm sure it was a free printable or I wouldn't have had it or either I purchased it I don't know but I've had it on my computer so I can't remember where I got it but prompt 3 was ice cream and I completed it on the 10th of May prompt 4 And I will be showing these again when I do my pages that I completed for the month. Um, prompt four was monkey. I also colored it on the 10th of May. Okay, hang on, guys. Let me pause you here. Okay, guys. Sorry about that. Uh, hubby came in from the grocery store and had his hands full of groceries and couldn't get the door open so I had to run go open it for him but prompt four is monkey so I colored this monkey this is out of the 50 jungle miniatures book uh, so there's the monkey okay uh, prompt five is Country Scenes, and this is out of the Country Days Coloring Book by Veronica Hugh. And I colored the cows out in the pasture by the pond. And uh, I finished this one on the 18th of May. I don't remember if I told you what day I finished the monkey, because we was in the middle of that when hubby came in. I finished it on the 10th. I do remember telling you now. So this one I'm going to slip right here because it's got another page in it. This is Spring Patterns Coloring Book, Color by Number, by Color Questopia. Guys, you need to go check out Color Questopia. I love these books. They're color by numbers, but they're not hard to me. They're real nice. Okay, so prompt six is bees. So, I did, as I was coloring them, I didn't color them in order. I colored them as I could find when I would look through my book. If one of the prompts was in that book, I would grab that book. So, uh, you'll see that I, I didn't just color them in order. Because I did this one on the 9th, where I did the monkey, and the one before that on the 10th. Excuse me. So, this here is B's. So that was prompt six. Now, back to the country days. Uh, I said country scenes a while ago, didn't I? It's country days. Um, prompt seven was sunflowers. So I colored this one. And I did it on the 20th of May. So, there's sunflowers. Prompt eight was a clock. Guys, I looked all through my books. And you might say, where's the clock on that page? <laughs> that clock right there is the only clock I found in my coloring books. Now, I may have 
they may be there and I overlooked them somehow because I went through a lot of coloring books. It's a possibility, you know, you kind of get, you know, where you miss things sometimes. But that's the only clock I found. So I did this one for prompt eight clocks and I did it on the 23rd. This is in the uh, America the Beautiful Coloring Book by Veronica Hugh. And this book was gifted to me by... Now, I cannot remember her channel. Something to do with Panda. She changed her YouTube channel name, which she doesn't do videos. She only has the channels to watch others do videos. She, I think she might have did one or two videos, and that's it. But um, she gifted me this one and also a holiday one that I will be using again when the holidays come up. Oh. Uh, Okay. Hopefully, hubby will stay out long enough for me to finish this this time. If you see a ball showing up, Macy's putting her ball up here wanting me to throw it. <laughs> so, uh, thank you so much, Mary. I think her name, her YouTube name used to just be her name, Mary Johnson, if I'm not mistaken. Now she changed it to Panda something. I cannot remember what it is. But anyway, um... She gifted me this book. Thank you so much, Mary. I love it. And the holiday one, too. I'll be using it again through the holidays. But uh, I used this page for the clock. Then prompt nine was apple or apples. Now, I'm sure in my country scene, con I always call it country scenes, country days and home sweet home. I'm sure I probably had some pages in there with, like, baskets of apples on the table or whatever. But I, I wanted to, uh, I hadn't been able to color in this coloring book in a little while, following the prompts and everything. And I wanted to work in this grayscale and underpainting coloring book, Elegant Faces, Color My Art by, and I'm not going to try to say that name, I-K-U-K-O. But I love this book because it's the, the grayscale. And when you color it, it just looks so good. When you color it with a, with a alcohol markers, it just, that grayscale under there just makes it look so good. And I love coloring in this coloring book. I'm going to get me some more grayscale coloring books. I am. I really am, guys. <laughs> and you can believe me, huh? <laughs> but this was prompt nine apple and I completed it on the 25th then last but not least was prompt 10 which what is prompt 10 moon moon so I used this good vibes coloring book I purchased this from Dollar General uh, it just says Benden I don't know if there's an artist or if, you know I don't know. It doesn't say. But I got it from Dollar General. And it's called Good Vibes Advanced Coloring Book. So, this is the only moon I found. I might, you know, could have... I probably just didn't look real close in the country days and, and the home sweet home. I, that was probably... I'm not going to say absolutely for sure there was. But they may have been a moon. Like, you could see a moon out of window scene or something like that. But I saw this moon, and I love coloring this kind of stuff where there's a lot of different um, patterns, like the flowers and the paisies and the swirls. I just, I like coloring that. And so, I went with this one for the moon, and I completed it on the 25th, which was yesterday. All right, guys, I was really happy because this is the first month I have completed all 10 prompts in this scavenger hunt by Happy Colors. Um, for the Happy Scavenger May, or the Happy Scavenger, um, I always say scavenger. The Happy Scavenger Coloring Prompts. 
because it's always a different name, like, but she has the month and the year on the end of, and it's, so it's different. Like, next month, it'll probably be Happy Scavenger June 2022, you know. So, uh, anyway, I was so excited because I got all 10 prompts. I usually get anywhere from about six, maybe, I think I, the most I've gotten one month was eight. But I actually completed all 10 this month, and so I wanted to share them individually. And, I mean... Yeah, share them in a video themselves and let you know about the the scavenger hunt, the coloring scavenger hunt by Happy Colors. Um, her name is Jessica, but um, her Instagram name, now that she is on Instagram, I don't know if she has a YouTube channel or not, but she's on Instagram and her channel is Happy Colors with the underscore mark. And like I said, I will have her link in the description if you have Instagram and would like to go check out um, her scavenger hunt each month and participate in it. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go. Hubby did come in, but he realized I was doing a video and didn't say nothing. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to get off of here so I can get this uploaded, and I will talk with you all later. Bye.